Hello MTG fans, this is Brian with MTG Resurgence coming at you with a pre-release of Dragon's of here. I'm going to be uh, showing you my Dragon Lord that I picked and then I also got one of these little intro packs I'll uh, be opening up. There's a couple boosters in there. So let's get started. I obviously already opened all the packs. This is what I played with for pre-release, the, the Culligan. And, uh, yep, there's a little tip card of how to build your deck in that, like every basic pre-release. A little score sheet for, uh, the new little promo game they had for, uh, four promo cards you can win and pick your best score. You get two chances at it, and, uh, best score, you can either get all four, three, two, or one, but nice little game for some alternate, alternative art. And here's your die. Well, that's pretty cool die. It uh, follows your Dragon Lord's um, breath, I guess you could say. So let's get started. And I'm going to start with the four cards because I did win all four. And um, yeah, let's get started. I'll focus in a little bit for you guys. All right. And uh, well, let's we'll start with the rare. I did get the. Uh, Dragon, the four four razor regent, the seven drop for a four or five flyer. And uh, when it enters the battlefield, you may have it fight target creature you don't control. Whenever a creature you control fights, put two one one counters on it at the beginning of your next end step. Pretty cool card. Nice art. And then uh, uncommon. That was if you got um, just for the three uh, dragon spells you cast costs one less to cast and then a dragon fodder and then evolving wilds so pretty cool and um so let's get started i'll be very honest uh i think i did some great pulls but for a dragon set i pulled only two dragons one from fate reforged and one from dragons so kind of crazy so we'll start off with what i pulled out of fate and uh, I know it's kind of foily. I got a foil Sibsing Merc Draggers. And then a uh, Bloodfire Enforcers. Here's my dragon from Fate. The Minscour Dragon. Teamer Sabretooth. Great pull. Use that in the deck. And a Shaman of the Great Hunt. Shaman of the Great Hunt. So I did get a Mythic pull out of that. That was pretty awesome. Played that in my deck. And uh, then here's all the commons, just your basic commons. All right, let's start with the new set. All right, let me uh, focus in a little bit. Sorry about that. All right, so I'll uh, go through them pretty quick. Don't want to take too much time, even though it's common artifact, keeper of the lens. Here's, I guess you could say it's third dragon. It's the Tarka Monument. It's the three, add a red and a green, pay six, get a four for red and green dragon artifact creature in play. Another, they all came with the Evolving Wilds in your seated pack. This was the one dragon I did pull, <laughs> the Ojitai dragon. And uh, I did not play it though. So, the Ukid Cobra. I got two of those. Oops. Ampscage Shaman. I uh, played this in my deck. This was actually uh, pretty cool with its dash ability. Always getting plus two, plus two whenever it enters the battlefield. Or if you got a lot of dash creatures like I tried to get, um, whenever any creature enters the battlefield, it gets plus two, plus two just that turn. Got an ultimate price. This card came in handy. Love this card. Story target monocolored creature. Alright, this is another kill spell. Foul Tongue Invocation. And, uh, yeah, love it. Sacrifice Creature if you have a dragon, which I had basically no dragons in my deck <laughs> because I didn't pull any. Yeah, you'd gain four life. Minister of Pain. Um, played this, never used the exploit effect, but still, just another creature. Got a foil, Deadly Wanderings. And. One of my rares, Slimgar Assassin. And uh, two for a 2 1. 
creatures with power greater than Slimgar's assassin can't block it. It's got the Megamorph, and when it's turned face up, destroy target creature with power three or less and opponent controls. And here is my seated pack rare, my promo card, the Petless Horde, three for five three with dash for four. Beginning of your upkeep, you lose two life. Now, this card to me is strictly for dash. Um, unless your opponent, you got a lot of kill spells, is you're losing two life a turn, and one of the games that killed me. So. Yeah, hold on one second. Uh, just give me one sec. I got my uh, one-year-old daughter here. She's just a little hungry. So I just had to give her some more snacks. So, let's keep going. Uh, I like to do Mind Rot. I know it's common, but this is great. You see, the, especially if you're uh, playing black, great in um, pre-release. Got two of them. Make your opponent just lose cards. And uh, Marsh Hawk. Didn't play with that. Duress was another good card for uh, sealed. Um, definitely for pre release. Reckless Imp. It's alright. <laughs> I'll tell you that. I play with it, but it's alright. And uh, Foul Tongue Shriek. I like this card, especially with instant speed. All the creatures you attack, your opponent loses a life for each attacking creature, and you gain that much life, so that's pretty cool. Defeat. Definitely need this. Always need kill spells. All right, Gray Purge. This is actually I didn't play it. I got played against it, and I should have had this in my deck. This is a really cool. I can't believe it's common. It's three cost. Put any number of target creatures from your graveyard on top of your library and draw a card. This card killed me in one of my games. He, I killed his dragons, and he played this put his dragons right back on top, and then you draw one. So he draws one on the turn, and if he puts two on, he draws another one, and if he's got all the mana, you can put them both out. It's crazy. Vultures Aven, Sipsig Icebreakers, now we're in the blue Updraft Elemental. Did not play any blue. They uh, reprinted the gates, obviously. Ojitai Summons, Zephyr Scribe. That's uh, kind of cool, actually. Draw a card, discard a card, whenever you cast a non-creature spell, untap it, so it's pretty cool. Um, elusive Spell Fist, Gurmog Drowner, Mystic Meditation, Lean from the Past, Uncommon, Target player shuffles his or her graveyard into his or her library, and then draw a card. And don't mind my daughter. <laughs> Skywise Teachings, another Uncommon. Whenever you cast a non-creature spell, you may pay a blue and a one. If you do, put a 2-2 blue gin token in play with flying. Not bad. This card, I uh, did splash some green in my deck. Played this, it actually uh, helped out a lot. I ended up pulling two of the Tredipons. Plus two, plus two, and trample. Oops, lost some cards. Alright. This uh, Arab Bowmaster. Because I had no dragons, barely any flying creatures, this had to be in my deck, and it's pretty cool with the Megamorph. You can add a 1-1 one, one counter. You can block quite a few of those 4-4 four, four dragons and still stay alive. Tark Beastbreaker. That was in my deck. Sandstep Scavenger. Dragon Scarred Bear. Stampede Elk Herd. Salt Ro Road Ambushers. That's the 4 for a 3-3. Three, three. Whenever another permanent you control is turned face up, it is, if it's a creature, put a 2 one, one counters on it, and it's got Megamorph. So, pretty cool. Obscuring Aether. That's uh, pretty cool if you got a lot of face card, face down cards, and it can become, be it the 2, a 2-2 two, two creature. And uh, I like that. It's uh, one of the rares. Dragon Fodder. Love this card. Definitely use this. Got two of them. So, give me one Alright. Scream Reach Brawler. 2-3 with Dash. I uh, played this. It was awesome. I like the Dash. I know it's common, but it was pretty cool. Colagon Storm Singer. 1 for 1-1 one, one Haste and Megamorph. When it's turned up, target creature gains Haste. It's pretty cool common, actually. It's uh, pretty cool to me. Colagon Aspirant. It's a nice little... 
it's 2-1, but whenever it's blocked by, becomes blocked by a creature, it deals 1 damage to that creature, so it's kind of like a 3-1. It's pretty cool. Tormenting Voice, Hardened Berserker, Sabertooth Outrider, Magmatic Chasm, Summit Prowler, Vandalize, Sarkin's Rage. Would have loved to use this card, but I couldn't because I'd take two damage just because I have no dragons. Another a Dragon Lord Servant, the real art. Two for dragon spells cost one less to cast. And that's a really cool card. Seismic Rupture deals two damage to each creature without flying. Oh, that would have been a nice card to play if I would have had more flying creatures. <laughs> Kalsisma Bahamoth. Another uncommon three for a 5-5. Five, five. Can't attack or block unless you pay two. So, that's, eh, alright. Stormcrag Elemental. Six drop for a 5-5 five, five trample with Megamorph. This card saved me a few times, actually, during games. Morphed it, Megamorphed it, got the one with counter for a 6-6 six, six trample. Couldn't, people, they couldn't kill me with the Sandblast. I kind of like that. Here's uh, one of my rares for red. Crater Elemental, three for a 0-6. Okay, red, and sacrifice it, deals four damage to target creature. And it has Formidable, one of the new... Um, uh, one of their things. Uh, sorry about that. Um, red and two. Crater Elemental has base power eight until end of turn. Activate this ability only if creatures you control have power total power eight or greater. So that's pretty cool. But to me, it's a wall. It's a nice wall. Sandcrafter Mage, Avon Tactician, Tutorial Rock, Herald of Jamoka, Champion of Arshin. Mist Hoof Karen, Lightwalker, Sandstorm Charger, and the uncommon Dramoka Captain. Three for a 1 1 first strike. Dramoka Captain attacks, bolster one. And I did get a mythic. I did get the Ojata, Ojata, the Ojata Exemplars. 4 4 4 4. Um, creature Monk. Whenever you cast a non creature spell, choose one. Tap target creature. Or exemplars gain first strike and lifelink until end of turn, or exile it and then return it to the battlefield tapped under its owner control. So I was pretty excited about pulling this. Um, definitely, I have a just guy deck. I'd like to put that in. So let's um, zoom this out a little bit and start with the intro pack. I started opening it, but I didn't open anything really into it. So, it's the Furious Forces, that's the red-green, and uh, let's see what we get in it. Alright, like all these intro packs, comes with a little Dragon of Tarkir play thing, or just a kind of a tip thing, talking about things, and here's another rules and reference card that comes in every one. Two booster packs. And your pre-made deck. So let's start with the pre-made deck and see what comes in it. All right. All right. Here we go. Yeah. Are you losing cards? I was. Up till about six o'clock in the morning with pre-release. So forgive me, and I ended up waking up at seven because the kiddos. But yeah, let's uh, get this started. All right, let's uh, zoom in a little closer. Focus this out. All right. So the foil rare that comes in with every one of these is the Harbinger of the Hunt. Five drop for a five-three flyer. It's a dragon. Pay a red and two. It deals one damage to each creature without flying. Green and two. One damage to each creature with flying. And you can do it multiple times. So that's uh, pretty cool. Other rare. Berserker Onslaught. Five. Enchantment. Attacking creatures you control have double strike. That's pretty cool. I like that. Tarka Beast Breaker. You got two of those. Glade Watcher. You got two of those. Dragon Lord Servant. Awesome. Happy about that. Another one of the decreasing the casting cost of your dragons. Custodian Whirling, got two of those. 
Hard Berserker, got two of those. Dragonloft Idol, four for a 3 3 Gargoyle Artifact Creature. As long as you control a dragon. Dragonloft gets plus one, plus one, and it has Flying and Trample. So, yeah, that's definitely pretty cool if you got lots of dragons. Sabertooth Outrider, two of those. Hey. Summit Prowler. Uh, Lurking hey. Aranx, two of those. Stampede Elk Herd. Cyan of Ugin, six for a 4 4 flying. Awesome. Savage Ventmaw, two of those. <coughs> Excited about that. Six for a four four flyer. Whenever it attacks, add six to your mana pool. Three red, three green. To end a turn, that mana doesn't empty from your mana pool as steps and phases end. That's pretty cool. And an evolving wilds. Bunch of lands. Epic confrontation. Tread upon. Drakenar roar. Another dragon fodder. Magnetic chasm. Roast, Tarka Monument, Seismic Rupture, Tail Slash, two of those, press the advantage, four, two Tarka creatures get plus two, plus two, and gain trample, I like that card actually, pretty cool, Sarkin's Rage, two of those, and that is it for the deck, now we uh, got the uh, two booster packs, alright, here we go. Alright, and I'm going to start opening the two Dragon Booster Packs. Let's see what we get. Alright. Uh, read the comments. Just go through everything really quick. Resupply. Grave Purge. Hardened Berserker. Conifer Strider. Anticipate. Vial of Dragonfire. Now we know what the other card went to out of Fate Reforged. For a look at that artifact. That blue one. Butcher's Glee. Glint. Pacifism. Great card and limited. That's a must play if you're playing white. Guardian Shield Bearer. First uncommon. Gate Smasher. That is three for an artifact equipment. Gate Smasher can be attached only to a creature with toughness 4 or greater. Creeped creature Equipped creature gets plus 3, plus 0, and has trample. That's pretty cool and common. Scale Bussing. 4 instant, bolster 1, then put a 1-1 one, one counter on each creature you control with a 1-1 one, one counter on it. Uh, that is kind of cool. Dragons and Loft Idol. Already went through that. And our first rare, Slimgar's Command. Cool. 5. For uh, instant speed, choose two. Counter target non-creature spell, or return target permanent to its owner's hand. Target creature gets minus three, minus three until end of turn, or destroy target planeswalker. That is pretty cool. And uh, I only need a little tip card. All right, last pack out of the two. So I'm gonna try and make another pre-release event today. See what else I can get. Alright, uh, Shambling Goblin, Dragon Fodder, awesome, now I got a play set of those, Glaring Aegis, Antioch Artillerist, Updraft Elemental, Epic Confrontation, Tormenting Voice, Keeper of the Lens, Reckless Imp, Elusive Spellfist, First Uncommon, Scale Guard Sentinels, Slimgar Sorcerer, Blood Chin Rager, and her first uncommon or rare is a Slimgar's Assassin. I already pulled that. Two for two one. All right, not bad. Well, thanks for uh, watching my video, and um, yeah, if you like my videos, hit the subscribe button. Or a like. If you have any comments for me, leave some comments. I will try and get some more um, new set up for whatever I can get for pre-release. And uh, thanks and have a good day.